Hello and welcome back everybody, I'm One Proper Baron and we had a bit of a rocky episode in the last episode and when I say a bit rocky, I mean quite a bit rocky. Now, we did lose the Kingdom of Denmark and the Kingdom of Norway a second time after losing them once and that is a bit disappointing primarily because everything would have been fine had Detmar lived just a while longer but cancer doesn't really give you a rest so here we are. Uh, do we still own all of our stuff? Yes, I'm really worried that this stuff is gonna leave us alone here and you know just gonna go with somebody else or maybe even be lost now i thought about this a bit and i feel as though we can trust denmark denmark is fine i'm even gonna name him my heir prim uh, primarily and uh, then we're gonna move on here but norway is not fine norway has to go and norway shall go believe you me i will now play as westphalia really is is that what you choose to do my dear vassals as always the vassals do not obey but let me tell you i think we'll be fine I actually think that we shall be fine. Let's assume that they kill us. What will happen? Literally, no. oh, you know what? We will actually totally do. I shall hold a great block. Absolutely. Summon everyone. Bring them in, boys. Bring them in. And also, uh, dissolve the army. Thank you very much. Could I already declare against you? The council is not even against it. Let's declare war here. Uh, enough people will help us to make this worthwhile. So let's do it. And let's bring these up here. So we're going to re-annex Norway. Denmark, on the other hand, is fine. We're also going to hold a blood, of course. Where uh, is that Blessed Virgin, by the way? Lol. Anybody, anybody seen her? What about that uh, Blessed Virgin, by the way? That was a lot of sacrifices. What it primarily does now, it makes it so that people like us a bit more. This dude is going wild and not everybody's happy about it. Could have been worse. Uh, worse. Could have been better. Primarily, I'm fine with it. And now I'm gonna have everybody attach. Let's siege him down. Until next time. Alright, let's deal with Norway. And once Norway is over, we can continue with our usual business in England. Agnes. Hello, Agnes. Interesting. Can I call in more vessels? Not right now. That's fine, though. Let's just keep sieging you. We got the potential to take this all down within a very, very small time frame. And I know all of you have been worried, have, you know, already been convinced that, hey, he's not going to do it. He's going to fail. He can't do it in time. It's impossible. But we are going to pull this off. Gable kind or not, I will make it happen. Believe you me. I've made much worse, much tougher things happen, included the Hellenistic Revival. Stop making this dude my heir, I swear to god. I mean, he's not even terrible. Nobody's voting for him. I wonder why. He's an encroaching foreigner ruler. Is this kid Norse? No, he's Saxon. Why do they vote for him? Maybe because they can control him, I suppose? Oh, because he's Danish. That has to be it, right? Uh, by the way, my dear friend, would you like an alliance? No. Cool. Cool story, bro. Alright, we got married. We got a good wife. We are also still gaining a very decent amount of prestige. I'm very, very happy about that. Okay, so you cannot stop telling me about who's gonna inherit, okay? I actually don't care because we're still very, very young. I'm positive that we won't really face a uh, prime issue here. And Denmark is being eaten up by my vessels anyway, so I think we're fine. I need to take over Norway, however, so that nobody else can take anything of Norway before I can. You know, we've had that issue in Denmark. We were, at the end of the day, not even able to take Denmark based on the fact that Denmark, well, you know, <laughs> we died and no longer have a claim on it. But had we been able, everything would have been a bit worse because Sweden intervened here. So I want to stop that happening from Norway. So death or not, we will not even lose anything. There you go, 100% and guard him. We're now the King of Denmark and the King of Norway. Currently not losing anything because we do not have a wife, uh, we do not have a child. She's a homosexual, so maybe we get somewhat lucky and our realm doesn't even split. Can I guarantee that the realm is not going to split? Absolutely not. Are you crazy? You think I'm going to give you weird-ass guarantees that I can never hold? <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. Um, What we're going to do next, I think, we're just going to ignore everything else and just going to go into war here. Who's going to help you? Ulaid, huh? Into a war against Suffolk here. I want to destroy them. This is fine. Think we can win this? Let's see. 
absolutely. Get absolutely won, you son of a gun. So, we're gonna keep conquering England here, and we have to do that, because if we do not... Do oh, look at how many troops. See, this is the power of our vassals. Now everybody has boats, they can actually come over. Uh, we are in a wonderful position. We just declare a war, our vassals come in, and we will succeed. Now, we are gonna conquer some land here for ourselves, so that we do have some, you know, domain holding, which uh, will give us less troubles when it comes to the fact that we need to be stronger. Uh, ourselves or else we're going to be threatened by our vassals or even by external enemies for example East Francia they are growing stronger by the day and I'm worried I'm very worried about that let's eat a bit less maybe that'll work out for us all right and it's working actually out nice very nice I think we're just gonna take you down buddy 100% beautiful kick him out let's go all right I'm gonna um, I could raise him. Don't really want to, though. Let's take a look at you, my dear friend. The King of Essex, as they say. Shall I get rid of my own troops? Should have done that earlier, honestly. Could try to force vassalize, but not that that actually would work. I will go for Northampton here, because going for Northampton means that we will be connected and Leicester, on our death, will not become independent. That is a very huge positive in my eyes. Oh, it's a pretty big army already assembled here. Let's just wait for the moment. Our vessels should be here any second, and there they are. Already arriving. Come on, dude. I need more people. This is not enough. We have become brave. Thank you very much. There you go. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. I should have probably... Hmm. There you go. Sure, let's train with him. We don't have any commanders because our retinue is not big enough to actually have more than one commander. Or rather, I do believe that we are actually big enough if I... There you go. This is what I want to see. And now we will be able to have commanders on every flank, including ourselves. Oh, this is a big episode. I can feel it. Do you know this feeling when you start up a game, you know, having you haven't played in a while, and then you get back into it, and you look at the map and you're like, man... I'm in a really strange situation, but you always come out on top. Just make your move, push him in, get him out of here, you know? That's the feeling that I have. <laughs> I think we're gonna push him through here. Could we go for legal? Oh, baby. They're all against it. We have to... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna force vassalize one of these big ones, and then we're gonna take over. We're gonna get rid of everything they have and everything they like. All right, let's siege down Northampton. This is a grand old time. We don't need Denmark, brothers. I'm gonna defeat him right here. There you go. Another one bites the dust. Sure, let's invest some for some points. Take this down yet again. And I'm actually gonna... There you go, 88%. Let's head in, destroy them. My wife is pregnant, which means that our realm... Uh, if she gets a child, she will not actually split the realm on death. I mean, let's hope in the first place that it won't split, but, you know, even then. Crowland, back in our hands. Beautiful. Just what I was looking for. I want to turn down the music just a tiny little bit, by the way. Blasting my eardrums. Um, okay, so we have 988 prestige. First of all, that is huge. That is absolutely astonishingly beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take you over in a normal war, and we're going to go, I think, for Lincoln. Then we hold another coastal province. I'm a big fan of that concept. Let's call in everyone that we can. And uh, then we just continue here, kind of, you know? I will tell everybody to attach to me, of course. They have a lot of boats, so these days we should be fine. Everybody just head on over. As long as they don't uh, try to kill me, please stay away. I would appreciate it. A great deal if you just ignored me for a while. Mm, I'll give her money, sure. Where are my vessels? Help. Oh no. My vessels aren't coming. They are not coming. We have a problem. Um. Then again, do we really have a problem? Do we actually, don't we? Can raise a few more, but not enough to do anything with the... Oh, can I get away? Totally cannot get away. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 
Lucky. You know what? I'm not even gonna act like I planned anything here. This was just lucky. Let's take this. Let's take all of this down. Let's head over to Lincoln. Oh, they're coming? What? I mean, then again, we don't really have any strong troops, do we? It's all just, you know, very mediocre ones. Is Boodley really the strongest one that we have there? Oh, but we are tearing them apart. Look at this. This is the man. Baga Ashina. Oh, the Ashina clan is saving my ass. God bless you. They do have the bloodline as well. This is so good. <laughs> Alright, the... Wait, what? Did I just read Reform Tengri? Oh my goodness. First of all, they're not reformed. But second of all, look at the Khazars destroying everything in the way. Oh, lordy. Um, I will usually attack. So we're going to go with aggressive leader, I think. I know we're defending right here, but usually I like to... I prefer to attack. Um, he wants to challenge me to a home gun, huh? Sure, I'll destroy her. He has no chance. Have you seen his stats? Victory is mine. See you later, alligator. So what is the plan here? I want to take down Lincoln. I will take over Lincoln. And then we will carry on to vassalize probably Northumbria. Vassalizing them, meaning that we will then be able to revoke everything as long as I am able to make people vote for me. So let's take a look at this stuff here. I would love for you to sell me a favor. For you too, buddy. No? Okay. Okay. That's very expensive, but I'm going to pay for it. Sometimes in life, you got to pay for it. Call in council support. Thank you. Call in council support. Thank you very much. So that's... I think that's already it, but I'm still going to... Call in council support. Thank you very much. And now let's go ahead, push this through, and boom, we got it. Religious control mandate. Meaning that I will be able to revoke whoever I will... Did you see this? This is an issue. Bit of an issue, quite. 82%, but this is not enough. It's... Where the fuck are my vessels, though? Ah, uh, if we had any... Oh, we have more mercenaries. Give me boat mercenaries, please. No boat, only mercenaries. Incredible. I think I might have to move, but I don't want to move here because none of that is actually viable land. Yeah, they're gonna kill me. We're not even strong enough to defeat Marsha. That's just embarrassing, frankly. Where are my vessels? They came here so nicely the last time. And now you're telling me none of them have boats? Are you crazy? Doesn't tell me anything about the boats they have. Um, what about you? You actually don't have boats, huh? You could have boats, and I'm, you know what? I'm gonna pay for boats. Ah, this is shit. Hmm. White piece, huh? Kinda don't wanna. You know that feeling? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we got absolutely destroyed here, as was to be expected. Let's be honest. Let's not lie to ourselves. 76%. You think I can do it? Ah, 81%. It's not enough. Not even close. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Sometimes life just doesn't swing your way, you know? But have you heard the story of me vassalizing you, my friend? Oh, I can't even vassalize this man? What about Northumbria? I cannot vassalize any of them. Ah, okay, uh, this is a bit of an issue then. I thought we were in a bit of a better position, but we are not. You know, we hold a decent amount, first of all. Let's be, let's, let's point out the positive things here. We hold a very decent amount of uh, England now. But with us being unable to conquer Lincoln, uh, we have a bit of an issue here. Because we still don't have the boats. But, ah, I guess I can just... Castle shipyard. Oh, you already have a castle shipyard. All right, I gotta build some castle shipyards then. You don't have the technology. Are you crazy? Oh my goodness. I gotta turn on the music, by the way. Here you go. I hope that's not too quiet. I'm not too happy about this outcome so far. I really do anything here. What the fuck just happened here? Why did you take... How did you take that over? Can I force vassalize you, please? I'm gonna force vassalize this man. Somebody has to do it. Let's not kid ourselves. Am I actually an idiot? Wait, no, that's... No, I'm... Sorry. 
I got it right the first time. <laughs> but I'm also probably actually an idiot. Alright, let's just have everybody follow this army. We should have enough men to destroy him. I hope so, at least. It's not a lot of vassals here that followed us into the war. And I suppose that that is probably also why we failed in the earlier attempt. When it comes to Marsha, that is. Because what probably happened is that the vassals that actually have boats didn't follow us into the war, meaning that we had no boats. Alright, we got it. We took his family prisoner, and now he's one of our vassals. Beautiful. Now, with that in mind, we are quite a bit stronger. Not that that means anything, seeing as I have to come over here to this godforsaken island. Or onto this godforsaken island. Maybe we should just go raid a bit? Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I still have a really good feeling. I think we can do this and uh, achieve something. But at the same time, I'm kind of... kind of worried. It's not the right time yet. Don't get me wrong. It's not the right time to transition to feudal. Not at all. But that, well, that would make us so powerless. It's not a valid option. Believe me. But what is a valid option? That is a good question. Can I answer it? Probably not. Probably actually not. Alright, at least we control this major part here. King of Swithiard. Man, I hate that dude. Really do. Got a de jure claim here, but nothing too meaningful. Am I your vassal? I am... Uh, am I your, uh, your heir? I mean, I'm not. And I'm very far down the list as well, so that's a bit of an issue. Mm, and nobody's voting for him. Everybody hates him. They're all like, he's a foreign invader. But he's not, though. He's a family member. He's the same as us. What are you talking about? He's Saxon. Well... Not much I can do about it, I'm afraid. Alright, the way I see it then. Let's try to take some down here. What is it? Let's help her a bit, even if that costs us some points. What? How did he... How did he catch me? Still one. I've been itching for a fight, and I think I just confirmed to flee. I think I prefer you dead, buddy. Yeah, we just, both of us fled. Amazing. Just as the Lord intended. We're also stressed now. Ugh. You know, CK2 is a wonderful game. And I'm certain that we will go... Really? And I'm certain that we will go back to it. Don't fear, you know, I know there's probably some of you that are like, hey... The Arm Chariot, by the way, it's, it's not usable. It's always the same, these events. It's not usable in actual combat, but hey, it looks nice. That's essentially the conclusion of this experiment. CK2, I don't think I'm done with it. Regardless of, you know, how good or how bad Imperator is. And I uh, have a feeling that it's going to be fine. But regardless of that, I think I will return to CK2. You know, HIP will always be a wonderful mod. We will always have a lot of fun with that, I think. Oh, a genius nephew, though. Theoderic, please. Where is he? There he is. Hello, my genius friend. I would like for you to be educated by somebody that is excellent in this. For example, this Saxon chief of Kent. Beautiful. Why are they... They keep walking into me. Why do they do that? I have no idea. You know, sometimes with the CK2 games, I feel you have to return to them every now and again. Bardengavi is also prospering. Simply because when you play one of the newer versions, it's always going to be a bit worse, simply because it's not as fleshed out. And I honestly, I'll be honest with you, and I know there's a lot of cynical voices in the community. I'm not one of them. I have never shared the complaints to the degree that they are voiced over there. I think that if we pay for the uh, DLC, what we essentially get is a way better pro uh, product. You know, I played these games when Hearts of Iron 2 was a thing, Hearts of Iron 3, and so on and so forth. And back then, they only did two or three add-ons maximum for one game. And that means that the game was never as good as it could be. Now, CK2, you can see what happens if you have seven years of support. Seven years of, uh, you know, add-ons and so on and so forth. So I'm actually a proud, positively uh, uh, thinking member of the community when it comes to the DLC. I think it's it's fair. We're paying people. What? The coward Weybricht has to, uh, ref decided to refuse your challenge. Uh, what a coward. He is a terrible fighter, though. I'm also a Viking, by the way. Did you know I'm a Viking? I'm gonna also leave here. See you later, alligator. 
Oh, that's retinue, right? Don't do that. So I'm actually not too bad uh, when it comes to my mood and the DLC model. I'm fine with it. Perfectly fine. Oh, I could vassalize you. Could I vassalize you too? Probably too big, huh? Appears so. Alright, I'm going to attack you then, but I'm not going to force vassal... Ah, then again, we could... Uh, I think we're just going to go for uh, Essex. Although, I mean, Middlesex is clearly better, right? Nah, I'm going to go for middle uh, for Essex just because it looks better. Sure. So I will return to CK2, if only because I personally believe that that is, you know, kind of the, the way I shouldn't have walked into that. That's kind of the way that uh, these things go. You return to them, you know, you, you say, hey man, I saw some really good stuff. Oh, what? Why did they fight me there? How could they fight me there? I was fleeing. Are you kidding me? Hmm. And you returned, you're like, wow, an Imperator, I saw, you know, this or that stuff that was really, really nice. Uh, I would love to see that in CK2 and vice versa as well, of course. You know, you go, hey, what we saw there was amazing. Also, they're fucking battering me. They're destroying me. That's just unacceptable. All right, you know what? It's time. It is time. You get it. Where's the rest of my army? I don't get it. Where's the rest of my vessels? Just don't come at all anymore. And they... Oh, they don't actually have any allies. Oh, there they are. Saxon Old Germanic Revolt. 3,000. Do you mind? Oh, look at them stand here. That's amazing. God, I hate him. Who are you? I know you're already... So you're at least this dude. Then you're at least... This dude. Then you're at least this dude. Who else? You. Alright, they siege that down. We start walking. We destroy them and then we're gonna be good to go. So I personally feel actually very, very much fine about this entire ordeal. I just think I'm gonna be back, you know? HIP still exists. It's This is a much more fleshed out game. What do you want me to say? That's just the way it is, you know, when you start out in a new development cycle. Of course, it's going to be much more fleshed out in what it is. But I will enjoy my time with Imperator. I'm sad. I absolutely will. Not even going to threaten him. That's fine. A son was born to Baga, Sheena, and Agnes Theodorich's daughter named Wernecke. Nice name, nerd. What do you want? Sure. A Welsh lady. Do you think so? Right, let's get rid of everybody. Let's uh, hand this stuff out. Just pillages, I, uh, pillage it, I guess, but then again. Why would you? I cannot vassalize you, or at least not force vassalize you. Let's just keep it at that. I think we're just going to blob into you for Sur Sussex, probably. I'm going to take as much coast as I can here. Oh my god. First of all, this is nice. They split. He's a king of Aquitaine, isn't he? Yeah. Carl, Carl, Carl. Only one person in line, but they're both children, at least for the time being. Emich and Emich. So yeah, they, they just inherit each other. Are these the only Carlings left? 19 Carlings. We have this dude, Picardy, but barely far away from the inheritance line. How are you allies, my friend? Princes are both Fleda and King Ethelric. So if I were to kill one of you, no, I can't, I just can't kill one of you. It's too bad. Too bad indeed. Um, instead, I suppose that I will have to... How many... We cannot beat you up. No chance. Do you have any allies? None that are considerable. So I suppose that we should try yet again to go for Derby, I guess. I just pray that people actually come over. I really do. Please aid me. Just this one time, you know. Just this one time. Hey everybody, I want you to join me. Holy shit, do you see how many Holsteiner revolt, huh? Funny a revolt and yet they said yes to a war. Alright, let's just have everybody attach here. If they come, you know, so far it doesn't look really, <laughs> doesn't really look good, does it? Uh, I'm gonna name you my friend. Nobody's coming. 
Burn the apostate. Sure, let's see why not. I could ex accept the challenge to a home gun, but he's too good. I gotta lose the prestige. I think I'm gonna die. If he kills me, everything's gonna break apart. Actually, nothing will break apart. I've... You are my heir. You're a giant. How many kids do you have? Zero. That's kind of nice, actually. I think we're going to take the... We either win here, right? And get away really well. This dude clearly will kill us because he is absolutely hating us for us conquering him. But I feel like I'll accept it because if I win, it's nice. If I lose, I'll just become this dude and nothing will split. Look, look, check this out. Frirek, Frirek. Let's do it. I yield. Ah, he only wounded me. Disappointing. Thought he'd actually do something, you know? Ah, nobody comes. Come on, man. Nobody? Really? We have four boats. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate this boat meme. So goddamn much. Alright, you know what? Everybody down there, I guess. <sighs> Bring me my four boats, please. God damn it. You know, I always pray. I always say, maybe this time, maybe they're gonna bring me all these beautiful boats, but they never do. There's never any boats to be had, but it's at least five, I suppose. No, not you. Five boats is better than what, you know, I thought I could expect. Right, let me see. Can I get you down? I cannot actually do any of that, huh? Yeah, look at this shit. I can transport 159 more troops. Amazing. Um, a court physician from Aragon. I don't think so. Let's burn him. Go get him, boys. <sighs> so, I'm so tired. I'm so over, like, the shipping this over part. Sometimes my tribal vessels are like, yeah, we're going to totally aid you, buddy. And sometimes they're just like, ah. I think I might as well just dissolve you. We don't need those. You know, it's a huge cost. I'll be real with you. It's a huge ass cost. But if we can keep this going, and we can, then we at least have a huge fleet, which means that we can start several wars of aggression. If I can keep the money rolling, and I think I can. I think I actually can keep the money rolling, and literally nobody's attached to us. Hate it too. And let's get rid of the fight fleet. I think this is fine. So we're paying for a fleet here. It's fairly cheap though. I'm going to keep them permanently under my contract, or at least as long as I can. And uh, we're just going to go ahead. I'm no longer wounded, that's nice. Because now we can actually ship over our own... Oh, and he's going to kill me, isn't he? Saxon, old Germanic revolt. God damn it. Every time. I yield, by the way. Did you know? I have to stop accepting those duels. Can I just kill this dude? Plot to kill, there you go. Let's just get rid of him. I think we're fine, by the way. Like, even getting wounded and everything, who cares? Yeah, yet again, remember that he did this before. He's a fool. Uh, idiot. An absolute idiot. Um, I'm gonna put you on the council, thank you very much. So everybody just assembles up here, that's fine. Uh, we are going to win the war over here, which is nice. And we are eating our way, mind you. We're eating our way through where we need to be. Put you over here. And he's going to be poisoned. Beautiful. So they're marching through us here, which is a big, a big issue. I'm going to defeat you and then go for the boats. Plot is revealed. That's fine, I think. Personally, don't really care. We need to go home just to defeat these two fools. <sighs> Nothing split, okay? Let's just make that clear. But by God, I swear to God. Denmark, you can be my next heir. Like, this is actually 100% fine. I want to make that clear here. Literally nothing was lost. We have a shitload of money. We can keep the boats around. We are fine. It's just, man. All this death in such a in such quick <laughs> succession. What's wrong with us? Burn this man, absolutely. Hello, my friends. I'm here to destroy you. Why do we inherit as him? I want the king of Denmark, please. 
I'm exalted, absolutely. We are tribal, which means that we should focus on light infantry. We have so much money, I'm just going to keep the boats around, especially now that we own more land than we usually deserve. And even if we die right now, we wouldn't lose any. Let's destroy this army yet again. There you go, this war's over. Thank you for Darby, my friend. 30 minutes, and I think I want to do a bit longer here today, just because I... I feel good. I'm finally, you know, you know this feeling when you're just kind of kind of happy about being in a position of finally being able to ship your troops over to goddamn England. I am happy about it. Oh, here's a claim. Oh no, not a claim. Wow. Well, you you like me? I'm still gonna, you know, you gotta. Sometimes you gotta do it. You just gotta do what you gotta do. All right, let's take him out. 34%. We're going to get a lot of money from him as well. And I will not join the secret society. Thank you very much. Why is everybody joining this stupid ass secret society? We had 79%. Uh, oh, this reminds me. Do I do want to build a pyramid in this playthrough, don't I? Take him out. There you go. 100%. Thank you very much. Uh, we surrender. Yeah, nice. Could hold a great blot, not really too interested in that. Oh, come on, dude. Really? This is gonna be enough, I just need him. There you go. Go in. Burn Magni, sure. He was the... He definitely was a heathen. Thank you for the, uh, for the dog. I appreciate it. I will duel him myself. Oh, what? I'm only wounded. I could have died there. I thought that was a very clear victory, but apparently not. You know, it's just sometimes life surprises you. Takes you by surprise. Really does. Ah, here you go. Okay. I want to... For you. My nephew. Sometimes when I see my soldiers practicing their swordsmanship in the training grounds, the face of Engelhardt flashes before my mind's eye. Right. There you go, we did it. <laughs> we made him pay. <laughs> Easy money. Alright, um, we need to actually go through with something though. We need to vassalize one of these fools. Do you still have... Yeah, you still have the Carlings on his side. I can, however, declare war against you yet again. You do have a bit of an ally there, but just a bit of an ally. Nothing to match with my powerful armies, at least I hope so. Yo, there's so many apostates. It's too many apostates. How many Odin or like uh, Loki worshippers can you actually have though? Alright, so let's have everyone attached and then we bring ourselves with the boats that we still pay for over here. And hopefully everybody else will follow. Glizmod. Nice. And it's over. Easiest money that I've ever made. Look at this. This is looking very, very solid. Now, without Denmark, makes still makes me very, very sad. But at the same time, I mean, come on, man. We're, we're performing very, very validly. 10 out of 9, even now, huh? Do I hold any, like, baronies or something? Doesn't look like it. So I have to... Why is Leicester marked as... What? No. Thank you. I think I'm going to give away Darby. Hello, Detlef. That's a nice name. Right. So far, so good. We could ransom some prisoners here. Yeah. So I was thinking... I probably can actually declare against you again, can't I? Could I get a claimant? No, we don't hold anybody prisoner either. Where are you? Sazelwick? 
uh, in Wales, of course. The weird names is always Wales. So my thought was, you know, if I were able to fully vassalize somebody here, I would have continued this episode. We are 24%. What is this episode? Like, I think like we have like three or four more episodes to go here. Realistically speaking. What should we actually pay for this? 360. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Victual Brothers. You've been decimated. I don't want to go for a holy war. It just frightens me, you know? Mm -hmm. I love that East Francia hasn't done anything in a million years. Is this going to split at all? Man, they are really good at keeping it together, you know? Really good at keeping it together, seriously. Nobody's fighting for you. Don't want an alliance either. I'm just going to declare on you then. Sorry, mate. We're going to go for... Uh, Bedford, sure. Let's see why not. Uh, call everybody in. Thank you very much. That's already 835 troops over there. Very nice. Oh, come on, dude. You didn't have to intercept me there. That's just rude. Right, get on the boats. You are the main army that everybody attaches to. Thank you very much. But even then, we should be in a position to do this properly. Even by our own. You know, sometimes you gotta do things on your own. Looks good, though. Looks excellent. There you go. See, now that we have those freaking boats, we are in a position of absolute strength. Oh, I love her. Pregnant. Yet again. Not even in again. Why did I say that? Oh, yeah, my cousin. This sounds about right. It's good to be the Filker. <laughs> Please. I beg mercy. Do not put this upon me. I must visit my uh, pregnant lover and also burn this random lady. She's orthodox. How dare she? Orthodox. Despite everything we've done for her. You are still hunting apostates. I'm fine with that, I'll be honest with you. Take them all down. I will break up with my cousin. Thank you. She's not pregnant yet, so she's not wasted. Hmm. Is Iceland still under me? Yeah, it is. Let's go. See, I completely forgot about Iceland. It was one of those places. I'm just like, wait a minute. Do we still hold that? All right, we have a bastard. I will denounce the child so that they will not inherit anything. Nice. Another victorious duel. God bless America. I would actually siege down war stay. Because we do have the potential uh, imprisonment. Lubick. Ah, so he didn't usurp anything that gives us any benefits. I hate this strong Sweden, but then again, they are also dying. Yeah, these holy wars over... These holy wars, honestly, it's tougher as a reformed pagan to conquer anything in the east than uh, doing anything else because you're still, you know, most likely at least in the position of being tribal. You have shitty troops and your troops die everywhere. Hello, you. You're gonna ban everybody, I guess. Just so happens, you know. What can I, what can I say? I mean, it's the way the cookie crumbles, really. Let's hand out Bedford and I think I'm also gonna hand out these holdings. Kissa. What a name. There you go. Could you serve this far? They're not really interested. By which I mean not at all interested. Let me just check here. Building a pyramid, right? Because we can do that. Costs 3k. I'm not sure if we're going to do it here. But if we do not fit it into the series because Imperator playthroughs begin, we will definitely do it on Twitch. I want to build those pyramids. You hear me? can't vassalize any of you. That's disappointing. But I think this is where the episode should end. You know, it's a good ending. We're at 27%. Only need eight more provinces. Easy. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and later, alligator.